Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet Classic and yes guys, the 4th of July event has begun once more. Now last year I had still not completed a good portion of this particular mission. These missions are very time consuming. But the good thing about them is that for each event as they come up each year, you could basically start off where you left off. So I had gone through all of the missions and for each year I have done episodes for each and every one of these missions that I were, was able to complete. Now I was able to get much of the stuff as I have just said. And what we're doing here is the Independence Treasure Hunt. It says, Hail the glorious triumph of liberty and independence, O Angler. Make your contribution to history and help restore this unique statue of George Washington, decorated with authentic attributes that belong to the great president himself. All elements are in place except for one, George Washington's battle sword. It's up to you to find the sword's missing pieces. These historic bits are scattered across North American waterways in old sunken canoes. Locate each canoe to collect all the pieces of Washington's battle sword by collect, catching historic fish with anchor tags bearing canoe coordinates. Your reward will be beyond, be beyond generous. A real treasure map awaits the bold and daring treasure hunter. Good luck. It's like 13 bait coins, 1776, <laughs> of course. Cash. The task, restore his sword blade. Restore the statue of George Washington. Get the treasure map and find the independence treasure. Now, we have got portions of this sword. If I go into my inventory, there's a specials. And you'll see some other things from other events, as well as different mounts for the monster fish. But we still have cannonballs from the previous Independence Day event. And I should actually have, yep, portions of the sword. I've got one, two, three, and four of the sword. I think I have, let's see, I'm not sure if these tokens are part of it or not, but anyway, I've got portions of other missions like the Halloween event and Christmas events, as well as the St. Patty's Day events. But we are going to go back to our missions here. Now the next part of the mission, I have four out of the six shards of his battle sword. Now what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and look up the next mission for the next part of the sword. This is number five. It's in St. Croix. So what I need to do is track that mission, which I seem to already be doing. So I need to go to St. Croix. I think I already had caught all the historic fish there. So now it's just a matter of going there and getting that darn uh, sunken canoe relic chest. So let's go to St. Croix. Now this isn't going to... I guess every one of these ones that have these little flags above them must be part of the mission. You notice there's none over here or down south. Yeah, so everything can take place in North America, which is awesome, because <laughs> I have unlimited licensing for all of those, for the most part. All right, let's go to St. Croix. Well, let's go ahead and see. We got the first part of the mission complete here. So we've traveled there. We need to cast near the sunken canoe. Now, honestly, I have no idea where that would be. So I would imagine it's somewhere probably over on the east side of the lake. That's just a guess. Okay, we're going to close that. Getting a lot of lag here. Alright, I think I might advance time a little bit. Let's get it, let's get it to 8 o'clock. Here we go, you can see a little bit better now. It is a cloudy day. Oh, 
All right, so we are looking for a sunken canoe. All right, let's go a little bit faster here. All right, guys, I finally found the darn thing. I swear to God, it was not where I expected it to be. It's actually over here in this location. So probably the best way to get to it would be to go to for the from dawn to dusk so you don't necessarily have to be in a boat to cast there you could actually walk up on shore and get over there which is actually kind of good because it's close to all the other things let me see here i'm going to go ahead and start the engine again get a little closer to the thing All right. There it is. Let's see. Need to use something that can snag it pretty easily. No. Yeah, let's try this eight foot crankbait. I bet you that will get it. Okay, I can cast a little bit beyond those reeds, so I should be able to snag it. Huh, I didn't get anything. That's kind of amazing. Well, apparently I did get it. Oh, I got a cast near the... That's the next part of it. Now we just gotta try to keep casting it until we get that relic chest. Let's throw a little beyond it. Maybe then we'll... I'll tell you what, let's try some one of the other rods. Um, oh, I know what to use. Let's put... Uh, I thought I had a diving bait. I don't. Let's just put a heavy medium spoon on there. That'll go down to the bottom. It should snag on something. Son of a gun. I wasn't even trying to catch a fish. Daggone it. <laughs> Check it out. Little bugger. I'm sitting there trying to snag. Oh, server reboot in five minutes. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Oh, come on, daggone it. Let me get that darn relic chest. We'll keep at it. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Here you go. Relic metal chest. And I got it before the reboot. So we will keep that, and that should be the next sh Swords Shard. Swords Shard. <laughs> Four more bait coins. Now I have one left to find. Now, fish tag coordinates number six. Catch historic fish on Falcon. 
Everglades, San Joaquin, Kitney Creek to find a fish tag bearing the coordinates of the last sunken canoe. Somewhere near the sunken canoe, you can fish out an ancient chest with relics. This includes the fragment of George Washington's sword and the last one. That's worth 16000 cash. So we've got to get historic rainbow trout using old glory grub. Two and a half inches. And historic common snook using silu nymphs, four inch. So I guess we're done here. We did manage to catch a fish, even though we weren't trying. That was kind of weird. <laughs> right there, I'd never really honestly fished that spot. Was not trying. I might try this again just to. All right, guys, let's go ahead and head on to the next part of this. Got plenty of cash so I can move around, no problems. I don't know if that paid for my trip. All right. So, let's go ahead and make sure our mission is tracking. Yes. And we're going to need to go in here and maneuver our inventory so that we have all of these baits. We're going to have to go to, let's see, the historic rainbow trout means Falcon Lake and then the Everglades here. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and set that up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back and I have gone through my inventory and got everything set up to go after the next part of this mission. After looking at the fish coordinates, six, I apparently have already completed two of them. I was not aware of that. Well, it has been a year or so, so I basically just have these two left. I have to go to Falcon Lake and catch rainbow trout, the historic rainbow trout using the old glory grub two and a half. And we, I have to catch historic common snook at the Everglades using the saloon nymph four inch. Now I wonder if that means I, no, I guess I don't have to go to Blue Crab because I don't have it available yet, but it is obviously present in the Everglades, so no biggie. I think what we need to do now is we need to make our trip to Falcon Lake. Let's see what we can do about getting these rainbow trout. All right, we are back here at Falcon Lake. It's been a while since we've been here trying to remember the best places to get the rainbow trout I think I may be mistaken there's a few places that I've gotten them I know I got the brown trout over here on this side where the the boat is the trout lair I think I've a bridge of logs that might have been a place I got them I think that was more of the Oregon bandit trout though Ah, uh, like I said, it's been a while, but these are historic trout, so it, you know that may be altogether different. Well, let's go try over here by the waterfall cascade. I know I've gotten them there in the past, so let's go to a private room. Yeah, I know I do have the option of using the boat, but I just really don't even think that's necessary all right I have let's see which one did I put that that's not the one I've got if you look at my inventory I have placed a jig winner in here which it's a lighter rod but that means my chances of getting higher amounts of XP but I've got a um, one half ounce jig head at two number two ought and they got the old glory grub on here as they requested this is only 12 to 13 pound test actually it's 13 with 12 pound test line which is probably more than enough to get these guys in now we are nowhere near the peak but sometimes in the mornings the rainbow trout do bite fairly well 
And if I remember correctly, I used to get them over here all the time. I'm going to just give it a try here for a minute and see if I have any luck. And I think a slow retrieve is what worked for me in the past on these guys. Let it sink all the way, and if we don't do too well, then we'll advance time to the middle of the day. But we get quite the cast off of here. And what I'm doing is a count of five and then pausing. That way, I get a nice stop and go. Now when I have fished for these guys in the past, this technique has worked better than the faster retrieve. I don't know if it's going to be the case today, but we're going to see. Well, there we go. I guess I just discovered that does not matter with the peak with the rainbow trout. I don't know if this is, well, the actual fish I'm after, but I think it probably is. No, it is a rainbow trout, but just not a historic one. Thank God. It. There we go. Okay, it seems to have gotten a more a better response by putting it up to two notches. So that has changed. Just to let you know, even though I was able to get one. Now these guys are a little bit bigger than your average rainbow trout. So I'm going to have to fight this guy in a little bit. Come on, big fella. Boy, he does not want to be caught, does he? <laughs> okay, we got him. There he is. Historic rainbow trout. There's my first one. And the way you can tell is that little metal that's on the side of him. These guys are supposed to be, like, seriously old. Or something like that. I can't really get a good look at that darn thing though. That's a little bit better. Let's see. Take a look at him. There we go. You can't see the metal at all though. This must be facing me. Yep, it is. Okay. All right, we'll keep him. But it looks like let me throw let me put a marker out right here for you guys just so that you can see. Just as it gets to the deep pipe to Right out there, that's where I've been getting them. Which surprises me because there is there are lilies out there. I'm surprised I didn't get a snag. There we go. Yeah, this is kind of nice to have a little bit of a fight. Oh, it's a trophy. Didn't get the historic, but 
That's a nice trophy. Yeah, the historics seem to be about trophy size. So... That's kind of cool. The only problem with all this is... is I need to get the other ones. <laughs> I still have to get four of these guys, so this is going to take a while, guys. Well, that was interesting. I wonder what that was about. There we go. Well, I tell you, you need to be here early in the morning. That's the way it was initially when I first played this game. It's still the same, and it's true to life. Even though the peak is in the middle of the day, rainbow trout bite in the morning. Now, the peak probably will make a difference with the brown trout, which seem to bite more in the midday. This guy is a fighter. He might actually not be one of these guys, or he's a big one. Holy crap. Maybe I got a brown trout here. I don't know. I'm not making much of an advancement on him. He is seriously trying hard to get off of there. <laughs> yeah, that might be a brown trout. Damn. This guy has been... This guy is something. What is his deal? He's out to 50. Look at him go. He's got to eventually get tired. Jeez. Yep. Historic brown trout. I'll be damned. Now he I'm not trying to catch. But I knew I had something big. Yeah, he's nine pounds. He's pushing pushing this. That was for a previous event. Oh well. I can't remember which one that one was for, but it was one of the pr previous ones and Already caught them all. Yeah, I knew I had to come. I had to come to Falcon Lake for something in the past, but that must have been it. I almost thought I had a unique there for a minute. There we go. Hopefully, this is going to be our next rainbow trout of the historic variety. Yeah, I think it is. He has more of a silvery color to him. Yep, there he is. That's our second.
Well, guys, I'm going to keep catching these, and as I get closer to the last one, I will bring you back. All right, guys, I have four out of the five. I just need one more. I did discover, purely by accident, that these guys are also biting with a lift and drop retrieve. Which seems really strange. I don't think I ever remember that happening. But I wasn't getting any bites, so I just started doing a few other techniques. And sure enough, of course, now they're going to make a liar out of me. <laughs> There we go. This might be what we're after. Yeah, I think it is because if it was fighting any harder, I'd say it was another brown trout. Well, could still be. Can't see him just yet as soon as I get a flash of him yeah it is a rainbow trout all right awesome we did it guys there you go historic rainbow trout very nice very nice now let me check my inventory. I managed to get quite a few fish while I was here. Let's see. Yeah, we got rainbow trout. We got all these historic rainbow trouts. And two historic rainbow trouts on trophy rainbow trout. So lots of XP. Not a lot of cash, but a lot of XP. So I'm not complaining. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy this episode. I'm going to head on over to the Everglades next, and we're going to go after the Historic Common Snook, and we're going to see how much further we can get. We just need to get that one, and then we need to restore the sword. Now, I will try to see if I can't put links to my previous videos for this event so that you guys, if you so desire, would like to go from the very beginning to this point. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.